What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at this tablet. This, video, this tablet has been featured in videos before because it just keeps tearing up or my daughter keeps tearing it up, one or the other. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what's, what it's doing. So these is, uses the micro USB. So I'm gonna plug this up. So it's dead and it is not charging. Sometimes I can get it to charge for a little bit. Let's, let me get it out of this case. might have seen it flash a little bit every once in a while it's getting a little bit of connection and then it's just trying to charge so so anyway that's what's going on guys the port is damaged and it doesn't want to charge so I have a plan and the plan is to open the case up and uh, look what kind of connection we've got here. And hopefully, we can use the heat gun to just reflow the solder and then put it all back together. I've realized I really didn't explain what reflowing the solder is. So what's actually happening is the solder that is allowing the different connections to make their connections are there must be some kind of break it must be like a hairline fracture or something that's happened to the solder and it's a hard brittle metal essentially and so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the heat gun i'm going to heat it up i'm gonna allow that solder to return to liquid and then it's gonna fill in any crack that it might have in it and then when it dries it should be ready to go so that's what i'm doing in this whole project guys I might have to take the circuit board completely out of the case and undo everything. Guess we're gonna have to see on that. Just got my tool kit out. Link in the description. You want yourself one of these? I'll link to a, maybe a cheap uh, heat gun too. These get the job done. All right, let's see. It's always hard to get these things started. You just gotta right back and since I have opened this case before let's see I'm all close as they can focus as you can see I'm getting a little pry on it so it is opening up there oops So you just keep prying around. Keep on prying. Sometimes you get to a point you really can't get it anymore. You might just try going the other way. Corners are always particularly tough. Well, there you go. All right, guys, so what we're wanting to work on is this and so I'm wanting to work on this right here and I can't put heat on this side. So I'm gonna have to take this little, the circuit board out of here so we can flip it over and put heat on that side. So we've got a magnetic ball here. 
Just gave myself a splinter. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Watch out for metal shards in the bottom of these bowls. All right, magnetic bowl to hold the screws. Oh, look at that. So the screen came on once I got this off. Let me see if it takes a charge now. And no, it's not taking a charge still. But it looked like you had a little bit of residual power left. So let's get this off of here. All right, so now we've got a few Got a few ribbon cables to deal with. So just flip it up. Just laying down like this, just flip it up, bam, like that. And then you can uh, get the ribbon cable out. Come on, just I got that. Same one here. This is gonna be the display. All right, so got that one out. Here is the, I believe it's the cellular antenna. So this area that these wires connect, this is a speaker and it's soldered on. So I'm going to just take this with me. Actually, no, it's not a speaker. What the hell is this thing? I think this might be the... All right, and lastly, we got the battery. So you just flip that up. All right. So now we've got the circuit board freed. And the fact that this is surrounded in plastic is bad. Actually, it's like rubber. All right, so this is like, has a rubber surround. I'm gonna take that off. Go ahead, put that in a parts tray. Now we got the camera right here. I'm gonna take this off as well because this is gonna get damaged or likely to get damaged with the heat. All right. And the other camera. The first one I just took off was the front facing. And here's the rear. All right, so both cameras is off. So all this is off. Move all this stuff out of the way. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a heat shield. And, all right, so what we're, what we're trying to reflow is this area right in here. So we wanna hit that with heat. You see those pins? We wanna hit that with heat and we wanna avoid burning up all of this everything around here. So I'm gonna get some foil and try to and create some heat shielding with the foil. 
Got some heavy duty foil here. Go ahead and wrap this way with the foil. So if I had a tip that would focus the heat down to a smaller area, that would be more idea, but I do not have that. So we're gonna go kind of go with this. All right, guys, I got a little something to kind of raise this off the surface a little more. And I'm gonna concentrate the heat right in here and hopefully we don't burn up a bunch of stuff over here. All right, guys, uh, it's really difficult to know if you've even done anything, but I do feel like the solder did liquefy and now I'm letting it to turn back into a solid again. But we'll only know once it gets hooked up. Guys, I'm just gonna try to get the battery in and the display and see if we can get a charge. All right, so the battery and the display is connected. All right. Woo, so far so good. Press the power button. See if I can get it to. Ooh, look at that. And we are taking a charge, guys. So I'm gonna see there. So I'm just trying to put everything back together. So this is the little rubber piece that was around the, the USB charger. So there's that.
didn't have enough power to keep itself on. But at that 1%, we'll get a charge on this thing and let it, let it uh, go back to doing what it does. All right, guys, I was, was putting the case back on and uh, just to show you something. This is about the only thing I got to worry about is where this deal here lines up with the buttons and I kind of forgot and I smashed it on and it wasn't, wasn't right. So I said, take this area out and just get it down kind of where it needs to go. And then I'm able to go ahead and close it. So I can feel the bottom. So there's volume down, volume up and uh, screen on or the power button. So as you can see, the tablet is charging and it is fixed. It's currently in the off. It is uh, powered off. Go ahead and power it on. That's pretty much it guys. That's all I've got for this video. Um, I'll put links in the description to the toolkit. Very cheap, less than $20. Um, maybe the heat gun. It's a pretty simple job if you're a little bit handy. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Go ahead, give it a subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, I do electronics, home, smart home stuff, automotive stuff a little bit. So uh, stay tuned.